Hi guys! A few weeks ago, I got the Tama Arch, which is a vintage Tamagotchi released in April 1998. And this one was based on the Japanese actress Tamao Nakamura, which you can see right here on the box itself. So uh, yeah, I was really happy to get this one. I uh, got it for $49 and free shipping on the, off of eBay. And you could only get this one in one shell design, which is this one, the pink one. Uh, what I did notice on the eBay photo was that it has sadly sun damaged. So the colors in the box itself have faded and the color on the shell has faded as well. Um, but I'm not too bummed out about that because you can't really see it. It has faded evenly, so it's not like it's ugly or anything. You barely notice it. But anyway, this is the box. In the back. Shows you a few screenshots of the practice games. I'll tell you about that later. Um, so let's go ahead and check out the instruction manual, which is inside. Let's just quickly show you that one. Um, let me focus my camera. There. So how to start it up. How to choose between the three eggs, yada yada yada, <laughs> and it tells you what the icons do and stuff like that. So the goal with this Tamagotchi is to raise your character or train it so that it successfully becomes a movie star, just like Tama O herself. Um, so that's pretty cool. It's a bit different than the other ones, so I like that a lot. Um, and here is a partial growth chart. So the goal is to become Tamao herself. So you can't really see all of the characters, but yeah, a few of them are there. So yeah, that's the instruction manual and the box. <clears throat> uh, yeah, let me just show you the back here. You can see that the pink on the back is a brighter pink than the front um, but other than that you can't really tell that it's sun damaged so here are three eggs that you can choose between a striped one, a plain white one and a dotted one press the B button to set the time let's just set it to 10 a.m. that should be fine I think and then you set it and then you can choose either the striped one, white one, or dotted one. Let's just choose the dotted one, then we press the C button. And there you have that. And then the hatching process is five minutes, I think, like most vintage Tamagotchis. So I'll be back. Okay, so I noticed that the hatching process is three minutes, not five, like I mentioned. And she should be growing legs any second now as well. Let's see. <laughs> That's so adorable. <laughs> That's so cute. So, um, yeah, that was the hatching process. And uh, as you can hear, it's really, really loud and it beeps a lot. So I have been running it for 12 days and then she left. And I've been keep keeping it on mute the entire time. So just so it didn't drive me nuts. <laughs> but anyway, uh, let's just go ahead and check out the icons. The first one is the scale icon. And here you can see your Tama O's uh, age and weight. And the discipline meter, the hungry meter, the happy meter, and the practice meter. And uh, the next icon is a box. Here are your Tamao's meal meals. <laughs> so you can feed her, I think that's rice. And then snack. But there's also a third option, which is uh, fan letters. And you can give her fan letters whenever she is sulking 
or when she doesn't want to do anything else and she's just sitting there sulking. However, I've never seen her do this, but I read on the internet somewhere that uh, that's what she does. So um, yeah, so you just give her the fan, mo fan letters and that should help. So that's what that looks like. The third icon is the slot game. Here you need to get all the icons to match, of course. And you press the buttons to stop the reel. And you don't have to press the last one because it will always match one of the, the other two, so. And the trick is to get the timing right. No. And it's quite difficult. Sometimes I count to two, like, um, one, two, one, two. <laughs> no, it didn't help. Anyway, so that's the slot game. And it only raises happiness. It does not decrease her weight. But uh, the fourth icon does that. It does increase her weight and it increases her... It does decrease her weight and increase her practice um, bar or whatever. So these are the practice games and there are three practice games. There is ad lib or, you know, imp improvisation, I think it's called. And then, oh, come on, ad lib. And then she can take dancing lessons and acting lessons. I think that was, so let's go ahead and check this out. And she has to mimic what you do. So you press A or B, whichever you want, and then she should mimic what you do. Uh, now I can't remember if she did the right one. She probably did. Let's go again. And I'll remember myself this time. <laughs> And she does have a motion sensor. So whenever she does it right, you tap on a shell. I always use the chain, I don't know. Sometimes she doesn't re respond to it, but. So this goes on for three rounds. And when she gets two out of three right, she um, gains practice points. Let's see. Yeah, good job. <laughs> so that was the first one and she's happy good job and then there's dancing lessons you just choose between left or right which way she wants to turn so let's see if she does what I tell her to no she did not then you press the A button to tell her that she did not do the correct sequence and then let's try again. And it's her turn. Come on, get the last one. Yes. She always gets the first two right, but it's the third one that she tends to get wrong. So keep an eye out for that. So um, uh, let's just exit out of this and go to the third one, which is acting. I think it's acting. So here she can act sad or happy. So let's see. She always gets the first two right. And the third one was wrong, so we press the A button to let her know she did not <laughs> do the correct sequence. But anyway, that goes on for three rounds in all of the practice games. So the, um, the practice games uh, decrease her weight and gain, you gain practice points. Then there is the uh, toilet icon, which is a squat toilet. <laughs> I think those are so gross. They have them in Japan and China, I think. But uh, yeah, so it's the regular, you just, you know, flush the poop. And if you have um, two poops on the screen, you have to flush twice. Then there is the medicine icon. Whenever she's sick, you give her medicine. And sometimes it takes a few, um, she needs a few doses of medicine in order to become well again. And then there's the light icon. And you cannot choose that until she's asleep. Then you can choose um, 
to turn the lights on or off. And uh, the last icon is the discipline icon. So whenever she uh, is not behaving or doesn't want to do anything, neither eat or um, play the games or do the practice games, um, you just discipline her. And that should help. And then the discipline bar should um, go up as well. And uh, yeah, so that's basically what it, this guy or this girl, this little diva is all about. And I have really enjoyed it a lot. Probably because I've had it on mute. She beeps quite a lot and many people find that really annoying. Uh, the beep button is the clock, of course. So... Uh, to turn the sound off, you press the A and C button simultaneously. And there you have it. So yeah, this is the Tama Arch. I really like this a lot. And uh, yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching. Bye.